Hey everyone, Eileen Rivera here with Twit.tv and before you buy, I have a hot new phone in my hands. I'm so excited to review the HTC One X. This is available on AT&T and it will be available on May 6th. So what we have here is a gorgeous 4.7 HD Super LCD 2 screen uh, that's 1280 by 720. Uh, gorgeous colors coming out of this device and uh, it's also running uh, 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. Now it's different from the international version which is quad core but I don't really think that makes too much of a difference at least on my end. Um, it's also running Android 4.0. Uh, it actually is shipping with Ice Cream Sandwich, the latest operating system from Android. And as it says down here, it is running HTC's new Sense version 4.0. Now the ice cream sandwich version, uh, it's, of course this is not a vanilla ice cream sandwich version, so there's a little bit of differences here. For instance, the task manager looks like this, and I get rid of recent apps that way. Folders are a little bit different. Not the traditional circle that you would see with a vanilla device. But other than that, everything here, processing-wise, the speed runs really snappy and very, very fluid. You'll see as I change from app to app. Let me launch a browser here. Super quick, super snappy. That's relatively fast considering how much is on this page. And this is not the mobile version. They've given you the full website page here. Storage on this device is only 16 gigs, not 32. Um, there's no 32 gig option like you can have with the international version. So that's kind of a ding. Uh, has one gig, um, one gig of memory. The battery on this thing is an 1800 milliamp lithium ion and it's embedded. So there's, it's non, non removable. You can't take the battery out. That might be a deal breaker for some people. Uh, taking a look at the uh, design of this uh, camera itself, uh, it's super lightweight, has a polycarbonate night unibody design here. Uh, really nice and on the edges here. And here it's a matte finish on the back side here and then on the side there's a little bit of gloss. Again this is running on AT&T's uh, HSPA Plus uh, network and uh, if your uh, city has it LTE, very very fast speeds. Um, and again super super light. The power button up here, the speakers, and now this includes Beats. Uh, HTC has been touting the Beats audio system. But another thing amazing about this phone is the camera. Eight megapixel camera in the back uh, with an LED flash and a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. It is definitely the best camera I have used um, on an Android phone as of yet. The picture quality is amazing. Uh, you get 720p uh, video and uh, get a wide angle lens here. Look at that photo. Macro shots. The camera speed and taking photos really, really snappy. Jump, dump. Here, I'll put my shoe in here. That's how fast it is. Just amazing quality. The video quality is just as great, too. And, uh, and on the sidewalk. No, so, no, I so wasn't, I I wasn't suggesting. Right, right. Yeah, no, I think that's video. There's even slow-mo video. I love that. <laughs> Panorama, HDR, lots of options on this phone. And great picture quality. Again, this is a 4.7 inch display. That might be a little too big for some of you out there. I'm a little skittish about having a 4.7 inch phone myself. Uh, it is pretty big in the hand and you have a hard time, like me, moving unless I hold it with two hands to get up to notifications, as you can see here. Again, not a deal breaker for everyone, but if there are those of you out there who have an iPhone and you're thinking about upgrading, eh, you know, these phones are, are pretty big. All right, pros and cons. Well, first of all, the display is gorgeous, as I mentioned, the super LCD display. Uh, the processing, the speed of the phone itself is just super snappy, and uh, the camera just cannot be beat. I, I, I swear, this is the best camera I've used uh, on an Android phone as of yet. 
Uh, cons, lack of micro SD storage and 16 gig only availability. I don't know if you're a digital hoarder like me, you might want a little bit more bang for your buck. But overall, buy, try, or don't buy. This is the top of the line Android phone and I'm really glad HTC has come out with it. I say it's a buy.